Most people, when they see the word or hear the word evangelism, it can be quite daunting. For some people, it's like, man, I'm never going to do that because your understanding of evangelism is someone just knocking on a random stranger's door, asking them, do you know where you'll spend the rest of eternity, right? <laughs> Listen, that is not it, really what evangelism is all about. To be an evangelist is basically to be someone who tells other people good news. Now, the good news isn't just about anything. It's the good news about Jesus. One of the greatest ways you can grow in your relationship with God, but also grow in following the way of Jesus, is actually to share your Jesus story, to evangelize, to share the good news about what God has done in your life. Well, James, how do I do that? Well, first and foremost, you pray and you pray for people really in your world because there's people in your world that I will never have impact on, but there's people in your world that you will. God place you in that sphere to reach those people in your gym or your school or your workplace or your relationship settings. God placed you there. So one of the greatest things you can do is pray. God, give me divine moments with people, moments for divine conversation so I can tell them about you. You'll be surprised that God will orchestrate these moments. In fact, He is always orchestrating moments and He's just waiting for someone who'll say, God, I'll be a spokesperson for you. I'll be someone who will be there to tell people about you. But the greatest place to start is prayer. The next place is your story. You, might, you don't need to know a lot about the Bible to tell people about Jesus. All you need to know is your story. How did Jesus change your life? One of the ways the Bible refers to us is His witnesses. Now, a witness is someone who has seen something and they're basically just retelling what they had seen. So to be a witness of Jesus is actually to retell what you saw Jesus do in your life. So what is your story? How did Jesus save you? What did He do in your life? Because a lot of people can argue theology, but it's really hard to argue a changed life or change or argue about someone's story and how it so radically impacted them. So you can share your story. The next one in evangelism is just having the right attitude. So this is not about forcing the gospel down people's throats and, and being some type of Bible basher. No, that's not it at all. It's actually about having the right attitude. We love people the way God loved people. And we want people to be introduced to the love of God in a greater way or maybe in a way they've never experienced in their whole life. That's the attitude we need to have. Last but not least, one of the greatest ways you can evangelize is just invite. There's a story in the Bible about a woman, a Samaritan woman at a well, and when she meets Jesus, she goes back to her town and she just says, hey, um, just come and see the man who told me everything about my life. This is one of the greatest things you and I can do is just tell people in our world, hey, just come and see. Come to a gather Sunday. Come and see for yourself. And then we have found this time and time again that people who have invited people with that kind of understanding, just come and see. Once they've walked into the building or once they've walked into a scatter party, they've gone, wow, that's not what I thought. That was even better. Man, that was amazing. You just, you just, all you said was come and see and you trust God with the rest. So this is a huge part and really growing your faith. Because one of the greatest days you're ever going to have in the life of, of following Jesus is that day when that person you said come and see or that person you told Jesus about says yes to him. Man, there's such a beautiful thing that happens on the inside of you when someone's heart engages with God. I believe we have these divine moments where we kind of partake on what's happening in heaven in that moment, which is what? A party. The Bible says that every time someone says yes to Jesus, a party in heaven is happening. Why? Because a soul is reconnected with our heavenly father. So I want to encourage you to practice this. Be a person who actually evangelizes and goes out, tells people about Jesus.